Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vertus here and welcome back to the Adobe Photoshop design series. In today's video we are going to be continuing on with selection inside of Photoshop. Having said that, in the past few videos we've been going over some basic selection using the lasso tool, the rectangular marquee tool, the, uh, you know, the circular ones and all of that stuff. So we're just going to be teaching you guys how to take that one step further and start making bigger selections which are sensitive to the objects that are on your screen. So it's a lot of stuff to take in, I'm going to try and break it down nice and easy for you. So there's three different methods of selection that I want to go over in this video, and that's mostly going to be used for removing the big, uh, the big selections in your canvas. So those three methods are going to be using the quick selection tool, the magic wand tool, and lastly we're also going to be showing you how to select a color range and then remove the background based on you know the color range. There's lots to do and there's lots of things that we can do. So taking a look at the image that we've got in my scene here, you can see we've got a lot going on. First and foremost we've got this game character here and what I'm going to be doing over this video is showing you a couple of different ways that we can cut this character out and then we can just move him around place him wherever we want if you guys want to follow along with this video once again the download link for all these files that you need are going to be in the download link in the description below so first things first let's start off with the quick, uh, quick selection tool what that is going to do is it's going to try and go around the edges of our character and it's going to try and make a big selection and this is just to save you a little bit of time. So if we do this we can just go and drag around and then we can make a quick selection. Trouble is it's not entirely accurate and sometimes it's going to cut off some objects that you don't want it to cut off. So if you take a look at the bottom of the player's gun here you can see they've got this little weapon and they've got some sort of razor spikes on there and you can see at the moment it's sort of cutting them off which isn't great. And all I've got to do to use this uh, to create this selection is just click and drag and it's as simple as that. If I go ahead and press delete now to go ahead and remove that layer, you can see it hasn't really taken away everything. It doesn't look great when we zoom in. I'll go ahead and show you. You know it does look a little bit blurry and it's also taken away part of the razor blade there which isn't great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Control, Alt and Z and I'm going to show you another way that we can do that. Now the reason why you might want to use this method is just when you want something quick and simple, just a large selection where it's not too detailed. Something like a player character um, or a photograph with lots of detail, you just wouldn't use this tool. So the next method of doing this is by going over to the magic wand tool. If you just go ahead and press that, what this is going to do is it's, if you just, with one click it's just going to make one massive selection and then you can keep on adding to that. Now this is quite a detailed little image here um, so you can see it's going to add lots of stuff. Now we have got something called tolerance at the top and this is pretty much the intensity of sort of this selection that it's trying to make. If you change this down it's going to make less of a selection, it's not going to be as strong and it's not going to go over all of these colors um, like crazy. So if I set it down to zero it's not really going to select anything. If I set this to the default which is 32 you can see it's selecting larger areas and if you wanted to you could even then proceed to turn it up and go even further. Now, the easiest way that I've found to do something like this is when you just find an image with a solid color background if you can, and then from there you can just use like the color range tool to make this selection. So before I do use color range, I'm going to quickly show you the quick selection tool on here. If I just click and drag, it takes a long time to remove this background and select it all, and press Ctrl D because we're going to ignore that for now and give it a second to load, my computer's a little bit slow, it's getting quite old now. Okay, so we've done this quick selection tool, you can see how long that's going to be. Magic wand tool is a little bit easier, one click and it's selected everything and then it's completely avoided the edges here on the weapon, on the gun, the player, not the player, but the character that we've got here in our text. Press delete and it's going to get rid of everything, which is great. So the next type of selection that we can do is using the color range. So if we go up to select and then hit color range, 
From here, we can then go ahead and select a color from this color picker tool here to select a single color. And then from there, we can just go ahead and press delete. At the moment in the top right hand corner, you can see that set to white. And as such, in the little preview image over here, you can see the white areas are selected. And if we were to go ahead and press OK, it's going to select those white areas press delete and it's all gone. And there's no worrying about adding these extra selections between the legs, between the, the text or anything like that. It's just gonna cut it all out. But the trouble is if you do it this way, is if you have similar colors on the object that you're trying to cut out, it's gonna take it out. So if you take a look at his shoulder pieces here, it's pulled it out, which isn't too great. So you've got to try and make a decision on which type of selection you want to use. So you've got your color range selection like I've showed you, and then you've got your magic wand tool which is going to make one stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus signing out tool which is a little bit a little bit longer and isn't you know quite as accurate anyway guys that is pretty much everything for today's video i hope you have enjoyed it go ahead and play around with it like i said once again download link is in the description if you want to get this image there's a couple of different layers in here that you can pull apart or you could even make your own with the image you can just change the background once again, thanks for watching, make sure you stay awesome, keep creating, and I will see you in the next video, your boy Virtus, signing out.